We are a band that creates ridiculous situations and stories. Completely unintentionally, but we do tend to find ourselves in these incredible moments where something absolutely ridiculous has happened either on stage or off stage, and, um, and we all roll with it beautifully. Um, we're a bit ridiculous, is, is the best, as best way to look at it. We're like the dysfunctional family that we all chose. And we've all got something small within us that has slipped slightly, which brings us together and bonds us in a really horrible but brilliant way. One of the founding fathers, along with my brother, what happened was um, he came home one weekend from, a, um, from his, his studies and walked into my room and said, we need to put a band together for this thing that we're doing at the end of the year. And I said, okay, and he went, good. And then he turned around and walked off. And that was it. Then he went back down south and we had a bit of a chat about getting some people together. And then the first incarnation of the band sort of showed up in December 2009. I, I can proudly say I, I kind of started it. But, you know, when you've got 12, 13 or however many people that has, like, you know, we've had that many people come through that it's a bit of everyone's now, I think, more so than me sitting here and claiming it. As a band, we're a random mixture of people from, we're like the weird toys and op shop that people are like, what the hell is that? But I'll buy it because it's kind of weird and put it all together in one room and that's, that's what we are and it works, it's comfortable. Okay, a, 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 a well-run, good rehearsal will be we'll get here early and set up and then come out the back here and have a meeting of sorts, usually about what's coming up. And then we'll go and play some stuff and then people will slowly drift off one at a time, depending on who has to leave early or whatever. And then sometimes it's not... And not so fucking loud, okay? Dynamics. I don't think we take ourselves like incredibly seriously. We just is like, it never feels like work. It's more like for fun. You know, it's not a, it's not a, like a, a day job where you have to show up and um, and just work for a fee. Um, it's a good little group of like, it's a, a family. You know, I've got heaps of people here that I can trust. I can rely on them. It's a good community, fun. I mean, right now we're all sitting there playing it with the Nintendo and. <laughs> eating chips and stuff so not only do we get to do something that we love but it's a group of people that we love so. the gigs are always good fun like we always have fun but it's always the bullshit that goes on before and after which is which is good because like a lot of bands it's like you finish the gig see you later you know have a nice life but it's not like that here it's more like yeah we'll, we'll talk all the way home and all the way there just just, I don't know, it's, you know, every, everyone wants to be in a band even if they can't play an instrument and this has been going on six years now, which I think is pretty lucky for most bands. Um, so being able to play, being able to have fun while playing as well. And some of the places that we've been as well, you know, like weddings. <laughs> I remember watching wedding crashes and being like, how cool would that be? get to be like the people on wedding crashes and it's kind of been like that like we play a gig at a wedding it's like what are we <laughs> you allowed to be here and you forget you're the band really but <laughs> but i enjoy the gigs you know, this this is something that we do so we can get gigs which is probably the most re rewarding part of it you know, we get paid which is great but you know making people dance and things like that that's where the magic is <laughs> 